back again. So um, it have a saying, they say behind every successful man, there's a strong woman, right? In this sense, is behind a successful woman is a strong man. You understand? Sadiki. Big up my brother Sadiki. You understand? Because your touch on the musical side, I know your touch, you know? I know you for quite some time. So I know the touch you have on the music when it comes to the melodies and that kind of vibes. And I know that you are at least 60% of the reason that Matara is even trying to make a change now and trying to be better and trying to push the music. How will you meet Matara? Like, how you and Sadiki? Um, well, he's 100 percent behind me trying to transition and whatever because you know what I mean. He he always pushing me to be great. You know, always pushing me to be a better person. So, you know, I really appreciate him for that. Anyway, we anniversary is February the 21st. Well, that yeah. was telling me, yeah. carnival, we carnival yeah. lovers. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, besides Paul Joke aside, um, I met him, Big Up Mike, Big Mike Legacy. Yeah, um, we was playing with Mike for carnival last year and stuff like that. And, um, you know, he approached, man, I think he might get the story better. But... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Big one. Yeah. yeah, because he's the one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, my brother, my. So, how does how this, you know, how this duo start? Right, first thing first, I am. Well, for all who know me, I just this quiet, humble guy, yeah. you know, to myself and whatnot. Um, usually, I don't really play mass. Yeah. I never really did. It. You understand? It wasn't my intention. But I have a friend by the name of Devon Welch, mm -hmm. chose one, you know, um, Big Mike himself also know me personally. Right. You know, and they played mass and chose and linked me and he was like, yo, we play mass, where you for? What are you doing? I said, I'm not really interested in it, but you still come and you check me, oh. which was Carnival Sunday itself. I think it was Sunday or Saturday yeah, of last year. And we went down by the, um, the mass band and, you know, that was the day Big Mike said, you remember me, everything straight, you know? for my interview I did with him some years ago. All right, I inside, get my band and everything, and I on the truck. No, I'm not really a social media guy, but just like yourself, you understand, they're scrolling and so, <laughs> Matara, you know? And then it had a little situation going on with she and, you know, Kitty and whatnot. And then she spoke about she doing um, a live every Wednesday, you know, and touching on some topic and whatnot. Serious topic. Yeah, so, with that now, I say, Back and hell, boy. Mm -hmm. Two women, <laughs> right? Them are two needs, so I just stood in, you understand? And um, what happened now with the whole controversy with Tria and Kitty, mm -hmm. you know, that come and done and bam. So I ended up seeing her for the first time for Carnival. <clears throat> and I was like, well, wait, that the girl, boy, thing. Now, <clears throat> don't get me wrong, yeah? Camera and reality is really two different things. To me, she's much more beautiful in reality. Oh, oh yeah, they, so I was like, nah, that can't be the same woman. Yeah. <laughs> you dig? Yeah. And um, I entered the truck and I came down. And I went to her and I was like, um, your mother, she said yes. I saw it as a big fan. Now as a fan, right? You know, big fan, yeah, because only then I really, you and know, you started all tuning. All my products, yeah, well, yeah, before <laughs> we even meet. Right, and he's going and dropping little soaps and thing for him, just for him to see the beauty and I'm talking from the start. <laughs> right, that was before mass, before carnival, before him. Right, that was just how they fast forward now, <laughs> boy. Yeah, they good, nevertheless. And yeah, and um, I left after, you know, I was like, I was a big fan and whatnot. Went back on the truck, come back down, asked for a picture. She said, sure, no problem. So I cool. Now, I don't know what had gotten into me. I was like, um, the third time I went back, I was like, you're single? And she was like, yeah. I said, I said, well, we go talk. <laughs> and that was the day. Yeah. And without hesitating, this girl was like, um, well, take my number, take my number. <laughs> and I said, I just so. I tell you this story, the whole lot of it, right? <laughs> so I was like, already I have your number, yeah. you know? She was like, you are my number? I said, yeah, your number. Do so now, she said, I'm going to make sure. Went into my phone and you know and get the number and that was the day. From Carnival Monday we moving. 
You know, San so they didn't see me on the truck again, I was down on the other tree. You know, so <laughs> that's how we met. Yeah. When the music thing came in, always, um, I was recording a demo that I wanted to present for Kess, mm -hmm. right? Um, kind of Afrobeat song. And um, I invited her to come to the studio with me, see what it like. Well, she had already told me, told me, sorry, that she have a song, you know, yeah. and wherever I'm played from and thing. I was like, all right, cool, normal. So while leaving the studio now, nice nation, be nice, big up yourself, you know. Yeah. Till yeah, today, one time. since 2012, that guy and I met. And I must say he's the only producer who I really believe in me because he wasn't here alone, you know, I link with. But he's the man who really saw something that could have been great in me. And you can see today. We ain't really reached where we want to reach as yet, but this is great progress. Mm -hmm. You know, so the nice he taught me well. You dig? And after a while looking to leave the studio, he was like, eh. I had thing, you know, I had something here. I was like, all right, where's that? And he started to play the Mavali rhythm, which is goodness. Just playing the rhythm, I was like, this have our vibes, you know. But I kind of really look off that kind of vibes, yeah. I turned to her and asked her, you like this beat? She said, yeah, it, it's all right. I ain't showing too much care in it, yeah, because she not really on that. She did music, but she not really on that. Yeah. I was like, well, I, I will write a song for you. Tell the nice, bounce it for me and send it to my email. He did just that. So when I reached him now, I started to watch back some videos and I started to vibe it. So I said, I want to make this, how to put it, comical, but not too comical. You know, and um, I started meds. An idea came to my head where Eight Mile with Eminem, they had a freestyle battle and the man was like, um, yeah, you live in the trash, trailer, or wherever, and wherever, wherever. And Eminem said that before he could even say it. And after that, he had nothing to say. So. I wrote her song based on that, that story, you understand? I talk about the trick as well as blues and whatnot. Now the part with, now he loved my juice and them kind of thing. She invited me home by her. Nice Sunday meal. The woman could cook, she could, she could, she could, she could. Juice and thing, you know, and thing. And when she made the juice and I drank it, she was like, how it tasting? I say, it's tasting good, right? So when I put, well, now he loved my juice, girl. It's really the juice, the drinking juice, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. But she know how to sell her song. Yeah, sure. You know? She know how to sell it. Yeah. And um and yeah, that that how the song came about, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so let me ask you a question, right? Let me ask you a question. Okay. So you say you put them things like all the things with the kissing and all them things into the song, right? Yes. Now you as Matara's partner in life, how you feel and how did you how to put it? You know, a man might be like, it comes like you embrace them things and put it into the music, but you still love her, even though you know all those things were put out on the media right. with her. Right. Tell me how, how, how you dealt with that as a man, you know? Well, for, for one, I, I don't judge people now, but as a man, I have a very soft heart for women, especially women who are trying out and been going through stuff, you know, for how, however long. Because I came from a hard life myself. Yeah. You understand? I was adopted at the age of two. You know, at a point that time, I was literally on the streets, like yeah. sleeping on the roadside, on the stairs, and this kind of thing, you understand? And I saw the situation at the bar and whatnot, and, you know, we spoke about it, and, you know, she was drugged and whatnot. But, I mean, it's the past, and nobody ain't perfect. You understand? Because, I mean, I just want to stray a little bit here. When you talk about the Bible and you listen to the word Christ, you um, forgive us and them kind of thing. He didn't say forgive me, you know. forgive us. So it come to a realization that he himself had made mistakes. Yeah, yeah. Now we may not know the mistake and what we wasn't in them time, but when you, you, you just had to listen, good. But long story short, I wasn't judgmental and I'm never judgmental towards anybody. You understand? So with all that, that didn't save me. And then too, you know the real Matara. That is, the, that is 10, 15 seconds of Matara there. Right. Now you know the real side. You know, was that a shock to you when you realize that she's a totally different person in person than what you probably saw on the media? Yes, yes. I ain't seen that because she's next to me here, yeah? but she is, you understand? And I can't, I can't talk about it, yeah? But listen, <clears throat> this lady have her stuff together. She have her shit together. And I was in shock because, I mean, I thought she was crazy too. Yeah. You understand? But remember, she crazy. Yeah. She crazy, but a good crazy. A good crazy. You know, but but real with it. Yeah. You know, and 
she, she showed me a lot of love, you know, and she showed me that, yo, I've been through so much, yeah. and the same goals that I have, she had it as well in her. You understand? She don't need me, and I don't need her, to be honest with you, you understand? But coming together, it's easier. You understand? And I was in shock that we both had the same goals that we want to share, you understand? So it was like, ah, you do it together. You understand? And she, she showed me a lot of stuff, you understand? That is legitimate. You understand? And it was like, like, wow, and so much I think people will say about you, and like, you know? Yeah, so, how to put it, she's not that, that show off person, you understand? I, will you think, I think about that. Yeah. I know a problem, you understand? Yeah. I have my things together. Yeah. And yeah. that was the day, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. I was, I was, I was well impressed, you understand? And, yeah, man. And I'm referring to the song again. <laughs> I released that song, I remember, I released that song when it was, it was Tuesday night. Midnight, I released that song, you know. Mm -hmm. KG, you know when we do music and release music, we might hear it the next month on radio or yeah, something, so. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah. midnight I released, I started the market at midnight. Yeah. I get up to go to work the next morning, King. I know I hear that song on radio already. Yeah. One time I was in shock, I swear. I was in shock, I was like, wow. You know, yeah. Now let me ask Matara a question. You see the, um, you see the mic, so the key. So, um, you're trying in life, Mata, right? You're trying to change, you're trying to make different decisions to better your life, you know? Right. And then you meet Sadiqi, you know? A good youth. You know how hard it is to find a, a good man in this life. You understand? Right. You find a man that wants to, you know, fight the fight with you. And well, you come and do this song, and as he say, the song explode quick. Right. How was that feeling? Um, it was a, an amazing feeling because, um, as I say, you know, I did the song and thing in the past and wherever, and it really didn't market it good and it didn't go good. And as he say, as he released the song, it was all over. So I was literally screaming and jumping up and sadaki and because to hear yourself on the radio. And then not only that, to see the fans dancing, <laughs> yeah, it, it was amazing. It was a great feeling, yeah. It must, it must feel good, man. It must feel yeah. good, you know. And I must say, I'm proud of you the same way, you know, because I've been looking at the vibes and, and you know, taking in the much. energy now, you know. So I see you yeah. I see you come from far, same way too. And um, yeah, just keep doing your thing, you know. Yeah, you know, I mean, growing up and in, in the ghetto, growing up, you know fighting poverty and stuff like that, you know, I would just always encourage anybody, you understand, to just try the best, you understand, no matter what you want to do in this life, don't let nobody tell you, you can't do it, you understand, and if you do find somebody that you know willing to stand up by your side and fight with you and for you, you understand, I appreciate that person, you know what I mean, because out here with all the hate, and the crimes and things are going on right now. You really can't trust nobody and you don't know who really for you. So, you know, my advice to anybody out there who just trying to get it, just don't give up. Just keep fighting and, yeah, get it. Get that bag. Yeah, man. Ah, oh, boy. Um, so before we close it off, right? If you have any artists right now, locally, that, you know, Matara rate and want to work with or Anything like that? Um, yeah. Well, young brother, pick up yourself. You know, as a good friend of mine, he always supporting man thing too, you know, in my little endeavors and stuff like that. So I would really like to work with him one day. Um, Patrice. Yes, Nessa Preppy. I love Nessa to death. Um, well, it's, it's so much, it's so much, but you know what I mean? I love all my artists. And trying to fear and bungee well fear and it's my <laughs> Yeah, you know I would like to work with Yeah, I would yeah, I would like to work with Fear and one day hopefully bungee as well because you know I grew up listening to these people, you know, admire them, the queen of back and I'll just try big up yourself. You know, these are the people I would love to do a collab with locally and you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So so yeah. You're diving more into the soca, like that is that is the vision right now? Um, well, the vision was really um, soca mixed with dancehall. That was really yeah. how I started, you understand? But I said next year, 
maybe I could try like the full soak and yeah, try to be like a destran. No, I really feel the soak could do well for you. You feel so? Yeah, the soak could do well for you, man. Yeah, well, you understand? Like Stick to the soak and next. push the vibes. And right now, we have a space in the soca industry where now is the time for the youths. It's literally the time for the youths. It's just who willing to push it. You know, sound like a Teja. Ben seeing yeah, Teja grinding. Been grinding. You know, sound like Ben grinding, yeah. Ben doing the thing. Years I talking about. Yeah, Ten plus yeah. years I know this man. Yeah, you know, yeah. the, come on. Come on. Yeah, and he just waits his turn. Yeah. He continue doing the proper things. And he gets his space. Your time is you know, your time. I see, I see a lot of voice. I used to work with voice. Well, Sadiki, you gonna know that. I work with voice and them from the earlys. You know, I see them fellas go from nothing to something in the soca world. The soca okay. world have it fruitful once you do it the right way. Okay. You know, and if you have this song, there's not everybody that song good singing soca. As I always say that. Sure. Yeah, you know, and soca is a, like a, it's a beautiful yeah. art. Yeah. It's a beautiful yeah. art. You yeah. understand? And, and when you could do it good, I always push them and say, go down that lane, bro. Okay. So Matara, do the soca. Right. You understand? Push I'm yourself and I will, yeah, I man. Will. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, the, look, the soca truck passing yeah, and yeah. beating in my head. That could be you, you know what I'm saying? You understand? Yeah, so yeah. push the vibes, man. The thing looking good, right? Yeah, talk about the new music, babe. What new music? Talk about the new music. What new music? Call it big up all yourself. Um, Do the thing. 17 minutes here. Yeah. Don't forget the Russian. We had the collab and the Russian beat, guys. We would really like your support and the yeah. dirty money with them to just share the video, tag Russian and all of them because we really would like that to get authorized. Plus, we have the only um, collab and the dirty money with them, so it's only right. Yeah, yeah. You understand? And yeah, um, anything you want to say, babes? The bussin, we are the bussin for Carnival here. We will be playing with Showtime Monday and Tuesday, singing on the truck. The truck and who are new music with babes coming up? Um, myself, myself here. Yeah. I'm alright. Just new music, it is music. All you go and subscribe. Hey, yeah. what's going on? Go You're not supposed to be telling people <laughs> to go and check for nothing. Yeah. All you have to subscribe, subscribe to the yeah. page, follow the Instagram, Instagram yeah. everything, yeah. the TikTok. TikTok. And all you go see all the new music. Yeah. Goodness! Yeah. You don't know, yeah. Thanks, thanks yeah. for having us. Yeah. We really appreciate this opportunity. Yeah. Guys, check us out. Check us out. Yeah. And it's that. Boom. Wah, wah, wah.